So this is gonna be two scripts in one. It's called the Armored Lattice script, but it does something extra as well. So after installing the Armored Toolkit, you can make a selection and search for Armored Lattice, or you can also search for an abbreviation like Arm Lat, so you don't have to type the entire thing. Hit enter, and you can control the resolution. Right now it's only changing the vertical resolution of this lattice, and you'll also notice that it's perfectly sized to the dimensions of my object, but I'm just gonna click reset. This is all I need. So it's just a way of quickly making deformations like this. I use it all the time for my so-called cyber muscles. Another thing worth mentioning is that it also works with multiple selections. So I can run that script again, and let's say I can give both of these cyber muscles a slight bend. I wouldn't really use a lattice if you're really looking for the perfect bends, but for simple deformations like this one, it's actually just fine. For that secondary functionality, again, we're gonna need a selection, but this time, instead of the armored lattice, we're gonna search for muscle rig and hit enter. So it does something very similar. It uses that same script, but then does something extra at the end. You can see that we still have that lattice right here that is perfectly sized for our object, but it's also giving us three empties, which are a bit hard to see. So let me switch mat caps and we can even switch the visualization of those empties. So let's go with sphere, which I think is a bit easier. So the idea is that instead of using the lattice and going into edit mode and selecting points and then selecting other points, we can instead just use these empties. So click on it, we can scale them, we can rotate them, we can move them. And what they're doing is they're actually in turn controlling the lattice, which then modifies the object. So we can actually hide the lattice. We don't need to see it anymore. All we need are these three empties. So it's a very easy thing now to just grab this muscle, position it wherever we need it on our character, and then just make small adjustments with these. So it's super convenient also because you can switch to tweak, for example, and you don't even need to press G to move anymore. Just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. After running the muscle rig script, you can also choose to group your controllers inside a collection so that when you're done, you simply hide that collection and don't have to see it anymore and bring it back only when you want to make adjustments. And finally, both of these scripts will work regardless of your scale, or your position, if I run the script now, it's still perfectly sized. However, if we rotate the object and we run the script, this will happen. It will give you a bounding box that completely ignores the rotation. And that's because you might have a selection that includes multiple objects all rotated in different ways. And if it tries to follow one, another object might be left out of that bounding box. So it just doesn't make sense to rotate it. So here's an example where I've been using that script a lot and it's still not finished, but it's been a time saver for sure. And I have all the controllers here in their own collection. So it's a bit of a mess because each time I toggle them on and off, Blender just resets all of their visibility. But ideally you would only uh, have one of them visible at a time. And when you're done, you can just hide it. And you will also notice that the empties are set to uh, render in front so that if it's behind another mesh, you can still see it and select it and, of course, manipulate it.